kind of kicked him out of the, uh, of the uh, supervisor role and I yep. took over, right? Our so, slogan is, if it can get out the door, we can do it. Well, cut the door if we have to. <laughs> so he's about to be a two-year machinist since he's made five axis parts already. So he's my nephew, it's in the blood. Welcome to Meyer Tool. I'm Kenny Urban. You know me as Patriot Machinist. Is that practical machinist out there? Where's Ian at? Ian, why aren't you here? Let's take a shop tour. So Christian, we got practical machinists here today. How's it going, um, Kenny? It's going good, man. Yep. So what we're looking for is the history of Meyer Tool. Yeah, so you know, right currently today, we're a small woman-owned manufacturer uh, mm -hmm. outside of Oakland, Illinois. Um, so we were founded in 1969 by my grandfather, Frank Meyer. He was actually a machinist back at Argonne. Uh, and, and with the, just the slowing economy recession starting to set in, he noticed that there's gonna be layoffs. So what his plan was is he bought a lathe and a mill, set them up in his garage, and he started bidding on projects. He, the, the way we really started is his whole idea was if you can machine one thing, you can machine anything. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and, and with that idea, he you know got into industries that he was interested in, right? So that's why we've been a partner with the particle accelerator industry for the last 50 years. He didn't want to just you know machine gaskets or you know brackets, anything like that. Machining the same thing over and over and <laughs> exactly, over again. Exactly. I, that's, that's definitely so, not us. Definitely not us. What right? he wanted to do is he really wanted to build things that would change the world, and so that's how we became today. Definitely. I know we uh, right now we're you and I are considered third generation. Yes. So yep. I've got. So my dad's been here uh, running this machine shop for 36 years, and then um, I've been here for 10 years. I kind of kicked him out of the, uh, of the uh, supervisor role and I yep. took over, right? So we have old school machinists and new school machinists. Mm -hmm. He still does all the old school stuff. Um, your mom took over from your grandfather, Frank. Yes. Um, now we've got you here in charge of uh, business development. Yep. And uh, we've got uh, your brother here who's in charge of the uh, weld shop and the technician department. So it's been a generational thing yeah. um, and it, it's working out great. So we've got all kinds of old knowledge, new knowledge, we bring it all together and uh, we're, we're making things happen. Absolutely. So, so let's go ahead and show off the machine shop. Um, in this general area here, we have large mill, large mill GNL, which was originally a manual machine. And I would say in the late 90s, early 2000s, we ended up uh, turning it into a FANUC control. This is our newest baby. We recently just picked up VMX 84, um, 84 inch travel uh, in the X. It is a monster of a machine. It's actually one of the biggest machines uh, that the Herco makes. Um, and then we also have our VF 11 here. Uh, VF 11 has been with us since the uh, late 90s and it's still working fantastic. Tool room lathe TL3. Should do the quick stuff, quick turning operations, quick boring mill operations, things like that. Here we have the Herco VMX 42 SRTI. This is the machine that most of my Instagram videos are is showing. Uh, right now, I've got my nephew over here. We talk about generation inside this building here. Um, he would be considered fourth generation being my nephew. Um, so I let him on here. If he crashes it, he's in trouble. Um, but uh, he's, do he's doing all right. So he's working on our VMX 42. It is a five axis. Right here, we've got a Haas ST35Y, Y-axis live tooling lathe. We've got our lathe guy here, Reggie. Um, he is actually making some pretty small parts for this larger platform machine, uh, but he's killing it. He's making it awesome. Back here is the staple of Meyer Tool. Everybody that comes to this building, they go, holy cow, this machine is old. So the background with this machine, um, it's a VTL made by Bullard. It's a Cutmaster. Um, it is, I believe, World War II. So this machine we actually got from Navy um, back in the day, and it's still running. We still turn massive parts on this machine, and I usually leave that to the old school guy. So the second generation, my dad, which we can meet later, um, he's the one that likes to run this. It's got his quirks. I prefer the new technology. Come around back here. We got an old closing lathe. Posted a Facebook uh, post about this a while ago. People were really interested in it. Still running, it's pretty old, um, but she gets the job done. This machine's a couple years old, uh, made by Knuth. Um, Their Sinus 330, uh, nice long bed. A lot of times we do a lot of longer weldments and things like that that need an OD turning or, or certain features uh, turned in. Um, currently we're using this kind of like a, 
a welding setup. We've got an awesome job that requires us to weld two pieces of material together uh, and concentric within three thousandths. So we use the uh, tailstock in here and uh, we use the chuck and the welders, as you can see behind us, we've got a welding machine and the welders will uh, weld that in and get that to run nice and concentric right on the lathe. Of course, every machine shop's got a bridge port. We do have our bridge port in the back. Doesn't that get... was actually the first machine my grandfather bought uh, for Meyer Tool. So yeah, bridge it's port, a, yeah. yeah. It's an old piece of uh, history here as we well. We still have his lathe too. Yep. Uh, I think we might have to dig up that lathe. Um, <laughs> pretty cool so we have his original lathe as well we, we really care about history we care about family and generation uh, when it comes to Meyer tool so got a bridge portion got some uh, pedestal grinders in the back typical machine shop stuff we got a Herco TMM 10 live tooling lathe um, this is fairly new this is about two years old as you can see we really really invest in ourselves um, we you know we we become kind of partnered with Herco um, as far as a Herco pro shop uh, we really like the machine, so you'll see a lot more in the future as well. Uh, BMX 24, we have a fourth axis for it as well. 24 on the X, um, just a, th a three axis machine or four axis if you put the rotary table in there. This is our uh, BMX 30. Uh, this is a prototype machine. Uh, we have a 60 pot uh, tool changer on there. Normally they come with 30, 32. Um, this is a Trunnion style five axis. And if you look at some of my newest Instagram posts, this is what I'm posting right now. I'm working on this machine. We've got our, our EC2000. I think it's probably like one of two in the world. Um, it's, it's really weird. Rotary table, uh, normally on an EC, is built inside the table. This is a, a secondary uh, rotary access table. Uh, we got my dad here. Uh, he's working on uh, some uh, parts right now in our uh, EC2000. So that's our machine shop. Um, we do want to show you some of the stuff that we do because, you know, we are not just a machine shop. We are overall custom fabrication shop. Um, so we have some really cool stuff to show you and, and stuff that we do. So. Yeah. And, you know, while we're walking here too, you know, we are custom fabrication experts. We typically specialize in cryogenic vacuum and pressure. But, you know, with the different capabilities we have here, we're not just limited to those things as well. So if we want to come down over here. We need to look at one of our cryostats that we're currently building for one of our national lab customers. And as you can see, we got Jeff and Glenn here who have been a part of our assembly team for a long time here. There's some of uh, you know, our old school guys here that, that really pass down information from you know, generation to generation are a key part of our team. Um, but this is one of our, our cryostats that we've been building for one of the national labs. Uh, I think it's what, Brookhaven? Brookhaven National Lab. Um, but you know, at, here at Meyer Tool, right, with the idea of machining one thing, you can machine anything. We're building the impossible. We like to take on challenges and, and projects that really are going to make a difference in the world. And, and so this is actually a part of a, a particle accelerator as well. Um, you know, we do a lot of different applications here other than just that. Uh, we do a lot of work for aerospace companies as well, things like NASA, Lockheed Martin, uh, you know, Jacobs, different, different large companies as well. So we do a wide variety of product mix here. So yeah, this, this project's been in the building for like two years now. Um, it's, it's a really big project. It, it actually has a lot of machining, a lot of welding, a lot of uh, assembly leak tech, uh, testing. Um, so just kind of give you an idea of how many parts go inside this thing. This is not even the biggest type of work that we do. We've had parts that are three, four times this size. Our slogan is, if it can get out the door, we can do it. That's kind of what we, we can do. We can get do. it out the door. I mean, we'll, yeah. cut, we'll cut the door if we have to, you know? So that, that's not a problem. This here is uh, MLI. We also fabricate that for a lot of different companies. Um, it's used as an insulator. NASA likes to use uh, yeah. things like that on their yeah. satellites. It, it's MLI is multi-layer insulation, so it's typically used in, in a vacuum environment for really low cryogenic temperatures. Uh, it's used in a lot of aerospace applications. That's mostly where we see it. Um, but with any kind of cryo module that we build, and being a company that specializes in cryogenics, we use it on almost all of our projects. This is our, our weld fabrication area. Um, this is where everything that needs to get weld together comes, right? We've got mm -hmm. uh, experienced welders that can weld pressure, uh, weld vacuum, uh, pass x-ray, pass uh, cryo shocks. And, um, and we do a wide variety of metals as well, right? We don't just do you know, carbon, stainless, or aluminum. We also have uh, OEM jobs here that require welding of Invar and Inconel. So we have a wide variety of welding capabilities here with a very expert staff. 
So yeah, this is Seth here, one of our welders. He's been with the company for about two years now. It looks like he's cleaning up some welds here just to go ahead and get back started again. How's it going, Doug? It's going. You leaking? You good? It's leaking. <laughs> so Doug's job here is to use the uh, helium lead detector, all right? And he's pumping helium into the lines here. And this machine is going to be able to uh, sense if there's any helium coming out of those leaks. Um, so all of, uh, all of our, ex or all of our uh, welding needs to come through the assembly department and they need to test it on the leak, the leak detector and then it needs to pass before we can move it on to our customer. So if he finds that there's a leak in there, it goes back to the welder and then the welder is going to have to patch up that weld and then come back for testing again. And we got some welders hiding down here. Uh, this job is uh, consisting of invar and stainless lines. So just to give an idea, we have a tube within a tube within a tube. So all of these different radiuses, we had to fit and bend all these tubes within each other and then obviously slip this over and weld all this. All of this needs to be x-rayed, all of this needs to be leak tested. So it's, it's, it's definitely a painful process sometimes, but it's exactly what our customer needs. And that's, uh, that's what we're willing to deliver. So we have Molly here, one of our welders. Hey guys, how are you doing? A lot of our employees are, are cross-trained for different departments and Molly is uh, helping out our technician department and we're making these MLI blankets, these multi-layer insulation blankets. And so this one is specifically for uh, one of our aerospace customers. I don't believe I'm allowed to say. Um, but so what this MLI does, right, it, it, it's multi-layer insulation, so it's aluminum, aluminized mylar, uh, is one layer, and then underneath is a spiral bound polyester. And so what we do is we wrap these blankets here together. Um, is this good? And then we will, we'll, we'll have customers who will ins use this as insulation for cryogenic vessels. A lot of times we'll be going out to space, or they'll be used as cooling systems. And when I say multi-layer, it's because there's, uh, there's multiple layers and customers order it based on how many layers they want. So pretty cool stuff. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much our machine shop. Um, as you can see, we have a lot of new equipment. Um, we, Mixed with, in, with some old equipment as well. Well, right? of course. I mean, well, again, you got old school yep. and new, new school, school, right? <laughs> so, um, so yeah, we're, we are looking for another experienced machinist. So if anybody is interested, we are located in Oak Lawn, Illinois, right outside Chicago. Um, so please, if, uh, if you're interested, you can, uh, you can definitely email me, uh, comment in the comment section, uh, DM me on Instagram. Um, and we can start an awesome career here. So. Yep. And the best part is you get to join the Meyer Tool family and building the impossible. I want to thank Practical Machines for coming out. Um, I hope you like the tour. I'm out of here. <laughs>